Hello, my name is Shelley and I'm a healthcare professional. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to deliver a depot injection of the contraceptive drug medroxyprogesterone acetate subcutaneously to your patient. To do this, we're going to use a product called Cyanopress. Cyanopress is an injector device which provides contraceptive cover for 12 to 13 weeks. It will be different to what you may be used to. It is therefore very important that we pay particular attention to how Cyanopress is injected. The process of delivering the dose is a simple one, but before we start, the following points are important to note. The medicine is a suspension that settles during storage and must be resuspended before use. The injector must be activated before use. The activation process pierces an internal seal so that the medicine can come out through the needle when the reservoir is squeezed. The injection should not be mixed with any other medicine and the injector must be used with the needle downwards. Prior to delivering the dose, ensure that the medicine is at room temperature and that the foil pouch containing the cyanopress is still sealed. And don't forget to wash your hands. You should follow your local protocol for subcutaneous injection, but it is recommended to give the injection either in the abdomen, avoiding the umbilicus or navel, or in the front upper thigh. Avoid any bony areas. When you are ready to give the injection, carefully tear open the foil pouch and remove the injector. But don't remove the needle shield at this stage. It is important to check the injector as follows. The needle shield should be in the position shown and there should be a gap between the end of the needle shield and the port. If there is no gap, discard the injector and use a new one. The needle shield should be in place as shown here. If for any reason it has come off or is missing altogether, you must discard the injector and use a new one. It is important to remember that you should discard any injectors according to local guidance for disposal of sharps. To mix the medicine prior to giving the dose, you should first hold the injector firmly by the port, this is the area closest to the reservoir, then shake the injector vigorously for approximately 30 seconds so that it mixes the medicine thoroughly. Take care not to bend it. If there is any delay between mixing the medicine and proceeding through the next steps, you must repeat the mixing procedure to ensure the medicine remains suspended. Look at the injector and confirm that the liquid contents of the reservoir appear white to off-white and are uniform. There should be no leakage from any part of the injector. If any problems are observed, discard the injector and use a new one. Activating the injector is one of the most important steps in the injection process. Without successful activation, the injector will not work. Hold the injector firmly by the port with one hand. Take care not to squeeze the reservoir. Hold the needle shield with the other hand. You will see a gap between the port and the end of the needle shield. Push the needle shield towards the port. Continue to push firmly until you close the gap. You should hear a click similar to the click you hear when placing a lid onto a pen. With the gap fully closed, the injector is now activated. Continue to hold the injector firmly by the port. Pull the needle shield away to reveal the needle. Hold the injector in the needle up position as I'm doing until you are ready to deliver the dose. 
to avoid any possible dripping. Please note that there is a small overfill in the reservoir and that if a little dripping, one or two drops, does occur, then as long as the reservoir is emptied, the patient will still receive the correct dose. It's important to discuss and agree the site of the injection with the patient before activating the injector. This can either be lying down or sitting. OK, Charlotte, I'm just going to give you this injection into your thigh as we discussed earlier. Is that OK? Yeah. Move your arm down to there. To give the injection, gently grasp and squeeze a large area of skin in the chosen area between the thumb and forefinger, pulling it away from the body. Hold the injector by the port. Keep it as vertical as possible. Now insert the needle into the skin so that the needle tip is in the subcutaneous tissue and the port just touches the skin. Holding the reservoir firmly between thumb and forefinger, squeeze the reservoir slowly to inject the medicine. This should take about five to seven seconds. After the dose has been completely injected and the reservoir has collapsed, gently pull the needle out of the skin. It's important that the full dose of medicine is given to the patient. However, small traces of the white liquid may remain visible inside the edge of the reservoir. This is quite normal. Now use a clean cotton pad to press lightly on the injection area for a few seconds, but do not rub. In the unlikely event that any of the medicine leaks out of the injector or appears around the needle, then the patient will not have received the full dose, other than the possible drip effect mentioned earlier. In this case of significant medicine leaks, that is more than one to two drops, it is important that you advise the patient to use alternative contraception. Under no circumstances should you attempt to give another injection until the next scheduled injection. After administration, dispose of the used injector in a safe and proper manner according to local guidance for disposal of sharps. Do not place the needle guard back onto the needle. The injector is for a single injection only. It should never be reused and don't forget to wash your hands again.